Have you been wanting a beginner reptile? But you didn't want a snake, you wanted a lizard. And has all of the sources that you've looked said that bearded dragons make good beginner lizards? My name is Stella, and today I'm going to be talking about whether I think that bearded dragons make good beginner lizards. I actually made a similar video to this, which was pros and cons to bearded dragons, but in that video I didn't explain my opinion. So in this video, I'm, go I'm just going to be explaining my opinion on whether bearded dragons are actually beginner lizards. So, are bearded dragons actually good beginner lizards? Well, many sources say they are and many sources say they're not. My opinion is yes and no. I think yes, because bearded dragons can be very docile and they can be so easy to handle and generally bearded dragons are not going to bite you at all. So that's why bearded dragons are good beginner reptiles. And this is why I actually did get a bearded dragon. However, you might not be wanting a bearded dragon. You might not want to get a bearded dragon because bearded dragons are high maintenance. Say that you wanted to get a pet reptile for your, I don't know, like six-year-old or something. And then your six-year-old or seven-year-old or whatever promises to take care of the reptile and do everything for it. And you get a bearded dragon. Well, I just want to tell you that that's not going to happen. Bearded dragons are high maintenance. So you're going to need an adult's help or someone else's help because you probably can't do this all alone. You probably can um, take care of a bearded dragon all by yourself when you're an adult, but if a kid's taking care of it, you probably will need help. For example, when I got my bearded dragon, I didn't think she would be as high maintenance as she is. So I told my mom I would do everything for her. Feed her, which I do do, and I would clean her cage, which I still do. However, I still need my mom's help for some things. Sometimes I'm not able to feed her, or sometimes I need to catch um, dubious from the colony and I can't do that alone and so you might not be wanting to get a bearded dragon because of how high maintenance they are and so since bearded dragons can be kind of hard to take care of you might not want to get one for that reason but really bearded dragons make great beginner reptiles for some people for some people it's just too much work and for some people they actually enjoy it and they really like spending time with their bearded dragon and they just like doing the high maintenance so in my opinion bearded dragons so in my opinion bearded dragons don't always make great beginner pets but they do sometimes i would say that my bearded dragon makes a pretty good beginner pet considering her behavior and she can't be picky, so that can be pretty annoying and hard to deal with. And as I said, she is high maintenance. So honestly, I think I did. I I think that if I had known how much work she would have been, um, I wouldn't have gotten a bearded dragon. But I'm still glad I did. It's a learning experience. So based on this video, if you ever want to get a bearded dragon, you should be mindful of how high maintenance they can be. And you should be mindful of how calm they can be in order when getting your bearded dragon. So this, this was my opinion on bearded dragons as beginner pets. Of course, for different people, they might like bearded dragons as beginner pets. And for some people, it's just not for them. So remember to comment any video ideas you have down below and I'll see you next time. That face you make when you realize your bearded dragon farted.